faint. It's I mean, faint. It's like, oh, you, gotta wait for you, you get a bigger reaction when you got a bigger Master. hydrocarbon. Like say crude oil has yeah. more energy, so it's gonna produce a bigger plasma. You gotta wait. You gotta wait. It's hard. And yeah, get a little What would you use as an alternative? What do you mean? The best. Uh, you get the plasma. Outside I like crude oil. Crude oil. Yeah, because there's lots of hydrocarbon in there. Yeah. yeah. Lots of times. Lots, lots of and lots of energy. Lots of you got like 72 elements in crude oil. And then coming out, you get like 12 elements. Yeah, so there's a big transmutation happening with that. So yeah, so. But you can't run big. crude oil when it's turned to gas. No, no, you gotta, you know, you gotta change your reactor and tune that, or change your rod. Right. If your reactor's big enough, all you gotta do is change your rod. Right. But if not, you just, you know, replace your reactor. So, how about the soda? Huh? The soda, did you put soda in? Yeah, that's soda and coffee in there. Uh, Mm. Yeah, some Starbucks. Yeah, no one wanted yeah. to pee in the tank, so. <laughs> <laughs> can, can I get you to start her up again? Yeah, yeah. Which oh. makes one hell of a cappuccino, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Question. Oh, the truck that you wanted to bring here, the guy wouldn't bring it. Yeah. How do you regulate <laughs> the, <laughs> the, <laughs> the, <laughs> the, the <laughs> You have to carefully adjust this manually. <laughs> this, yeah. No, I, in, in, uh, I got pictures of it at my booth. You can see them tomorrow. We got an air management system that takes care of that, and it's all controlled by linkage. We don't do this valve stuff in a vehicle. No, you can't be doing that all the time, no. So is it done by vacuum or is it done by electricity? Vacuum, right? Vacuum. Yeah. The carburetor. Yeah. It's the carburetor. The, vac the carburetor, you do a bit of modification to the carburetor to maintain the vacuum. Yeah. So it has to be, right now, only carbureted cars or vehicles? Yep. No, no, you could do it on fuel injected. Like, the vehicle that got converted that he didn't want to bring was a fuel injected vehicle. Yeah. yeah, I just replaced the throttle body with my own air management system. And I got plenty of pictures of that and all that oh, stuff. Good. In the plans that I sell, I got plenty of pictures of a 350 Chevy that I did with the air management system on that. I have three carburetors, but only two of them are used for fuel and the other one's the air management system. So, you know, I show all that, you know, so yeah. everybody can get it. You want to get a close up of the, the fuel mixture? You can yeah. see how the fuel separates. Okay. Yeah, it bubbles, right? And then, yeah, well, you can see the top layer is the gas, and the bottom is the soda and the, the coffee and all that good stuff. That's a lot of gunk in there after a while. Yeah, yeah. That, that's, that's why I thought this might be good for like a, um, an emerging so, developing nation, right? Where yes. God knows what they're putting in it, you know, or, or if you're out in the, the boonies or something. Exactly. Then, you can, you know, look for whatever you can vaporize and yeah. tune your reactor and you're good to go. Yeah, coconut trees and just coconut oil. Yes, exactly. We've run many different kinds of oil. Canola oil, vegetable oil. But the air is just cool. All that good stuff. Now, in terms of horsepower output, is it is it about the same as the last? It's the same. Uh, some people have actually gotten an increase of 10%. I mean, it's kind of, when, you, when you start playing with this, you know, don't put anything like the sticky, because you have to clean it all up. You complain about that. Yeah, this is the uh, If I was building stuff these days, I'd build a heat engine. It's one of the few things that I've seen four or five of these. They all run. There's no, you know, there's no I mean, uh, trickery you, going you, on or anything if, like if you that. Can, you know, make sure you, you know, when you do it right, you put one of these bubblers. Not bubblers, it's a uh, sight glass. Sight like glass. Yes. Oh, because so you when, when you can see that blue, that little, yeah. the plasma, that means you got it tuned just right. Yes. If you don't see it, it's, 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 it's not, there's, there's, there's two geek reactions. There's a, the regular conventional geek and there's a supercharged on steroid geek. That's there right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and when you hit that plasma, you are gonna get some real amazing. Yeah, things. don't play with it no more. Keep it. Okay. Yeah, because that's a really good, really good plasma reactor right there. When you got the exhaust freezing up, you'll use That's good too. That's really good. Yeah. You'll actually get ice on your exhaust. Yeah, show me a motor that can do that. <laughs> show me a motor that can run on sugar, you know? crazy there, there is always you know I mean I think well I mean I was a big devil's advocate though okay because 
if you're smart enough, you go, well, you know, this thing's running on vapor fume, right? Gasoline fume. You can put anything in there, right? It's just going to have you know, evaporation. That's what it's running. You know? So you got to do something else and figure out, is that really true or not? And that's something for you guys to decide. Okay. Eventually, you're going to think my way, and you're going to go, oh, yeah, it's just paper. Because, you know, up the wire, not going to run. Well, I, 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 don't, I don't even know if that's the important part. I think, I, I, I mean, again, the... Okay, I heard, yeah, the important part is if you take a... If you get one of those tri-fill uh, meters, you measure microwave, you'll, you'll pick it up right here, mi microwave. No increases. <laughs> There's a microwave going on right there. What do you call it? A tri-fill meter. Tri-fill meter? Yeah. Where you get those? It's a hundred bucks. You can online, Amazon, stuff like that. And you, you get, you, 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 take, you take a, a, a temperature probe, and you see the difference in temperature. I mean, it's like 200 degrees, 260 down here, and like 600. Well, so I saw the temperature. The gun is shooting infrared, so you can read the temperature. Yeah. No, that's what I'm saying. I, 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 one of those therm thermal guns. So, yeah. so, so the, the entire, around. so from from the bottom of this pipe up to the top, that's where you're temperature differential is. Right. Oh, yeah. here is your oh, you, you know, you just, you just, you just point, point, point one of those um, in, infrared thermal guns in there and you'll, you'll see a difference. And if you measure the engine, it's about 200. For the workshop, we'll have one of those thermal guns and you'll be able to see the, the temperature, you know? Mm, okay. Yeah. You know, you, you can even smell the thing too, you know? I mean, it's not, you don't smell the fumes, the exhaust fumes. Yeah. Right? 